When mites externally infest adult bees, known as ectoparasitism, it is rare that it is on the back, the posterior thorax of the bee. It is difficult to simply inspect a colony and determine if it has a high level of mite that will eventually kill the colony. Can you see the dotted black line on the measuring cup? The cup contains about 200 bees up to this mark. We use powdered sugar to remove the mite. We put the sugar powder in with the 200 bees. And shake for one minute. <laughs> you look like a bartender, man. Then we leave it for three minutes. This procedure is time consuming and requires a lot of work, but this method is great. We can safely inspect the bees without harming them. Mites are gradually becoming resistant to chemical miticides. For that reason, he tries to keep bees without using chemicals. Even if you keep many beehives in the same way, there are still some hives in which mites do not reproduce easily, and such a group has a high possibility of being resistant to mites. Manna makes queen bees from these strong hives. Manna's test result figures are kept by each beehive. He removes the small and energetic mites, which are about one millimeter in size, from the bees. He usually uses a toothpick. Oh my goodness. Return the sample of bees to their colony safely. Oh, they're covered in powdered sugar. Don't worry, their sisters will clean them off.